Good morning, everyone. I'm Margie, the curate at St. John's, and we are here for Children's Chapel, except that here isn't the education wing at St. John's. It's nowhere in the church. We are in my daughter's bedroom in my house, and I don't have on my purple stole for Lent. I don't have on my black cassock or my white surplice. I'm wearing a Star Wars sweatshirt. We aren't together in church all at the same time, but we are together right now to pray. For Children's Chapel today, you're going to need a candle if you have one and a book of common prayer if you have one, because we will be reading the 23rd Psalm, which is on page 612. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer at home and want to have the same translation that we're using, you can go to bcponline.org and then click on Psalter. Let's begin by lighting a candle. I light this candle and it represents the light of Christ, God's light in a dark world the light that shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome. We're going to begin by singing a few songs. The first song is a song you know, Sanctuary. I have lost my pick, so I'm looking for it. This is my mandolin. I brought my mandolin to play because I don't have all of your voices to sing with me. I like to play mandolin and guitar. I can't find my pick, so we're just going to roll with it. Our first song is Sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Our next song for today is a song based on Psalm 23, which begins, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. So this song is called, The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. Many thanks to the Eichels who let me know about it. The words are, The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll walk with him always. Always. Always, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. Now, this is how it goes. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll walk with him always. Always, always. That's 
verse 1. There are three verses, and each one sounds a lot like that, but we, instead of saying, I'll walk with him always, like in verse 1, in verse 2, we say, I'll follow him always. And in verse 3, we say, I'll live for him always. So the Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. And then, the Lord is my shepherd, I'll follow him always. And the Lord is my shepherd, I'll live for him always. Please sing along as you're able. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. And now I'll follow him always. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll follow him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll follow him always. Always, always, I'll follow him always. Always, always, I'll follow him always. And now I'll live for him always. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll live for him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll live for him always. Always, always, I'll live for him always. Always, always, I'll live for him I hope you liked that song. We might be singing it again in the weeks to come. So now, if you have a Book of Common Prayer or you have access to bcponline.org, we are going to be reading Psalm 23. Psalm 23 is found on page 612. I'm going to read it slowly, and you're, uh, please read along if you'd like. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In this psalm, God is compared to a shepherd. In the Gospels, Jesus compares himself to a shepherd, to the good shepherd. And so when I read this psalm, I think of Jesus. Jesus as my shepherd, so that I shall not be in want. I shall not be in want means I won't lack anything. I'll have everything I need. Because God is my shepherd, I won't be in need. Because God is my shepherd, God will lead me to still waters and help me lie down in green pastures. God will revive my soul and guide me along safe pathways. Even when I am going through hard times, which the psalm describes as walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I won't fear evil because God is my shepherd because Jesus, the good shepherd, is with me. 
shepherds take care of their sheep. And they give them everything they need. Sheep rely on their shepherds. Shepherds protect their sheep. They might not be able to keep them out of every dangerous situation. There might be rocky pathways, or there might be storms, or there might be things that are a little bit scary. But shepherds stay with their sheep and keep them safe. And sheep trust their shepherd and follow their shepherd. I wonder what it would be like to be a sheep. I wonder what it would be like to be led to a cool, still water where I could drink, or to be led to a nice, shady green spot on a hot day so that I could take a nap. I invite you to think about what it would be like to be a sheep, and especially a sheep with a shepherd like Jesus. Maybe you could make some art about that and share it with me. I would love to see your ideas. I would love to hear and see what Psalm 23 makes you think about. So now it is time for our prayers. Every week in Children's Chapel, we make space to pray, to give thanks, and to name what we're worried about or what we need help with. Loving God, we pray for your world. We pray for the people in it. We pray especially for our friends and our families. And we pray especially for those who are sick, those who are lonely because they're stuck in their houses. We pray for our teachers who are having to think of new ways to teach us. We pray for our parents who are having to find out what it means to have children home all the time. We pray for our children who are dealing with not getting to see friends and not getting to have the routine of school. What else do you pray for? Who else do you pray for right now? Loving God, we give you thanks for good weather, for spring, which is coming, for longer days. We give you thanks for the helpers, for doctors and nurses and teachers and policemen. We give you thanks for our parents who are trying so hard to be patient in difficult times. And we give you thanks for our children who bring joy and spontaneity into our lives. What else are you thankful for? Who else are you thankful for? Loving God, the Good Shepherd to all your people, please hear our prayers and know that we rely on you. Help us to be good to one another and help us to love you. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, let us end with a blessing. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in the power of believing, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen.